Let's talk about imagery. So imagery is basically where you, where you are taking physical external events and playing them in your mind. Taking the external and putting it internal. A couple of benefits of this. Firstly, it allows you to, to take a previous experience which has gone well and learn from it and try and create more of that. So when you guys are learning a new skill, who, who did one of those muscle up drills yesterday and it just clicked? And they're like, I don't know what I did right, but something, the stars aligned and it felt good, yeah? Or you're doing a snatch and you just go, I don't know what I did, but there was this hip and it felt great, I nailed it. Put that on the hard drive in your brain, replay that. Really good use of imagery. You can also use it for in the future. So as a kid, I was a swimmer. I know you guys have all been in the pool this morning. And before big events, I would... I would run through an upcoming event in my head. So if I had a 200 meter backstroke, I would play that event in my head. And I could actually swim the 200 backstroke in my head within five seconds of the time it would take me to do it on the day. Yeah? So we're talking uh, over two and a half minutes, I guess, here. And I could get it within five seconds with the right stroke count, everything. So being able to create that event in your mind is really powerful because a lot of the time our mind doesn't know the difference between the physical and the mental. And our brains tell our nerves, tell our muscles what to do. All we're doing is training the first and a bit of the second step of that.